Hey guys, and welcome to our 12th episode of Frostborn. In our last episode, we got our first PvP kill, which landed us our first level two backpack. But when we got into the cellar, we put the, luckily we put the backpack away, but then when we got to the yellow cellar, the two people that we thought we made friends with ended up turning on the other guy and me that we were all making friends together. And luckily, I was able to use the boss to get away and I survived, but but we didn't end up finishing act seven. We have finished everything on here except kill the boss at the end of the tomb. So this time we are going to kill the boss at the end of the tomb. And my energy is pretty low because I just finished that other episode. And so I'm thinking that hopefully we will finally spawn the carnage event, which is the best event in the game. So. We got some stuff. What I'm going to do this time, which is going to make us a little bit more powerful, is I'm going to make leather boots. Leather boots are the most efficient boot in the game. It's a little bit of leather, easy, cloth, easy, iron, easy, bone fasteners, easy. It's a cheap item, and it gives you plus 12% movement speed, which makes a huge difference. And then I'm going to build the leather hood which again same items very cheap items now i have some leather pants and leather chests that i got from dying at some point uh, they gave it to me in my inbox but these are a lot more expensive they require leather strips they require dragon scales so that's not that big of a deal but the leather strips is a big deal because i want to save those for other things so i'm not going to build that rather i'm going to build quilted jacket and i'm going to get quilted pants i'm going to Equip this. I'm going to save my leather shirt and pants for another occasion. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use it because if we're going to do some PvP, I want to have my best leg forward. Okay, killing the boss by myself is definitely not easy, but also I shouldn't have any trouble doing it as long as I'm not also trying to fight real players. So, two minutes till raiding hour. I do not have a lot of energy. I'm going to wait. I'm going to log off so that I miss the rating window, and then I'm going to get right back on in 27 minutes. All right, guys. See you in a little bit. All right, I'm back. The rating window is over. They're searching for new enemies, and I think I'm going to do something that's a little risky. I, I know that if I get my energy below 30, I have a good chance of getting the Carnage event. I have never gotten the Carnage event on this account, so I think it should spawn. So I went ahead and equipped the level 2 backpack I got and didn't equip anything else because the carnage event is there. So I'm going to run. We're gonna do it. Oh, I hope for the best. Dang it. Well, 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 that did not work out. All right, we're gonna try one more time. <laughs> we're gonna go down to 13 and see if the event appears. Nope, just doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So is there a, okay. So they don't have ads yet in Frostborn, which is sad. Okay, well, I am going to walk home and I will resume this episode tomorrow. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I used all of my energy and tried to get the Carnage event. I got really busy. I've done some farming. Uh, that's all I do when I'm not doing an episode. I only do green zones. That way you guys aren't missing any action. In fact, I only do green zones and I do it during this time when there's no settlement so that I could never get raided. I just don't want you guys to miss any of the action. So in this episode, we're gonna get through act. We're gonna kill the boss at the end of the tomb. Even if we end up dying, you know some PvP people take us out uh, we want to kill that boss so we're gonna keep trying you know we don't have any gear that we don't mind losing I do have some leather armor which would really stink to lose but I'm not bringing my level 2 backpack I'm bringing some gear that I've been able to get you know enough of that it's not that big of a deal so we're gonna go with friends I know it's more dangerous but I want to get that tomb so someone's here I can see it already Okay, so someone's died here, which is definitely not great for us. So someone's died, which means these people could be very aggressive, and that, that could be bad for us. I mean, obviously, that probably is going to be bad for us. We don't have a choice. We have to get some copper. We've got to get some maple. We've got to do these tombs. Oh, yep, they're aggressive. Okay, well, I will, I'm going to leave because, you know, I'm not going to take on 
a team. We're going to go to another zone. We're going to use, we're going to blow through a bunch of energy. Well, really what I need to be doing is I need to be getting copper and, and oak. So I, I should have brought my pickaxe. Okay. So we're home. We got the pickaxe. You can see that I've done a little bit of work on the base. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do it now while you guys are here. Okay. So I'm kind of a sucker for these, uh, offering things, even though they're worth nothing. Uh, I'm kind of a sucker for them. I, I really like them. So, okay, here we go. I'm gonna upgrade some more of the base. You just gotta keep working on it, you know? Okay, let's see. Okay, this is all level two. I finished all of this section is now level two, which is amazing. We're gonna start working on this V. We wanna scare people as soon as they show up. They wanna, I want them to be like, oh, all level two walls? This is uh, scary. This is not what we were expecting, so. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna save some planks, just in case we build something later. The goal is to get copper. I need a lot of copper for my workbench. So right now I'm kind of switching back and forth between two things, right? The most important thing is for me to get the two copper to build my workbench and the six maple. Because if I get my workbench, then I can, not only do I lock that in, it's, it's the hardest challenge for, especially for a free to play player, because you have to go into PVP zones. And if you run into the wrong people, then you die and you lose your iron pickaxe, which sucks because iron pickaxe is really rare because you need nails to make them and you need the workbench to make nails. So this is the hardest hump to get over. You gotta take a lot of risks and it's definitely scary. But then the other thing I'm trying to do at the same time is finish act seven, which is to kill the boss at the end of any tomb. And that's yellow zones. We're looking for copper. So there's someone there. I think they went into the tomb. They looted this box. No, they didn't loot this box. Or I guess they did. Okay, so these guys probably have good stuff. So I'm looking for, and who knows when they're gonna pop out. So I actually wanna stay away from this area because when they pop out, they're gonna be ready to go, so. I'm looking for copper. They may have already looted all the copper in this area. I don't see any copper, so I guess they already took it. <gasps> There's the copper. Okay, I did find the copper. Are you freaking serious? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I got the copper. No. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I've got them all attacking me. Oh crap. Here we go. There's an aggressive person. Hopefully. Okay, one, two, four, five, three, two, one. Yes! Yes! He was coming for me. He totally could have taken me out, but I am safe. And I got the two copper. Now, if I'm playing normal and I'm not, you know, making it a gameplay episode, I'm going home. I'm putting my two copper back in my smelter so it is locked in no one can raid it from me that copper is precious but i'm gonna be dumb you should not be dumb but i'm gonna be dumb because it's a gameplay episode and suspense is good here we go we are going into yellow to try to find one more copper to be a little bit more efficient you should not be efficient i mean obviously you can do this once you've already built your workbench but before you build your workbench do not do what i'm doing here we go so looking for copper Okay, so I don't know if anyone's been here yet. We may be the first person to the zone, which doesn't mean much. It means people could be showing up any second. Now, the fastest way to find copper is to go around the edges. That's also the fastest way to find people. And we don't want to find people, especially because we have two copper and an iron pickaxe in our inventory.
We'll see if anyone's looted this chest. Okay, so someone is here. We really should leave. Okay, I'm gonna leave. All right, so I'm gonna put my copper in a safe spot right here, boom. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna keep this 20 iron here just to keep it all safe until I get 10 copper, it doesn't really matter, right? I need to do that five more times before I'm able to build my workbench. So we got to go do that quite a bit more. Back to the copper zone. We need to get more copper. We need to become an intermediate player. Here we go. So clearly there's no mobs, which means that there's a good chance that there's someone that cleared them. So sometimes I run into things, that's because I'm not actually looking where I'm going. I'm looking at the minimap. <sighs> Two copper. Two copper. Got it. Four. Three copper. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Okay, I'm getting out of here. That was huge, guys. I just got six copper ore. I need 10 total. We just made a huge step towards the workbench. Heading home, I don't even care that I'm blowing through a lot of energy. You shouldn't care. If you're trying to get your workbench, you are going to blow through a lot of energy. It is better to blow through energy to get your workbench than to blow through uh, pickaxes. So, Boom, two more copper needed. That's it. Okay, definitely looks like people are here. Okay, clearly people are here. Wow, I, there, wait, there's copper. I found copper. Okay. We're going to we're going to leave because we just aggroed a ton of people. Yes, he's not even seeing me. Yes. Okay, I'm going home because I have what I need. Boom. All right. So I'm going to put that here. Put that here. Okay, I'm going to I'm just going to fill it up. Give me the give me the copper. Okay, so we did it. We finished the copper we needed. Let's go put this iron away. I don't think I actually have room in here. So there's 60 in there and there's 80 in there. Okay, so I don't have room for this iron. You know, that's lame, of course, but what are you gonna do? That's what we're at, so. All right, guys, we did it. We got the copper that we needed to build our workbench. We got the two copper bars, which that may not sound like a whole lot, but two copper bars means you have to risk your life a lot of times. I got a little lucky with that red zone where I got three copper right next to each other. That was pretty nice, and no one found me. So obviously, it's probably not gonna happen to you guys. You guys are probably gonna be found at least once. So make sure that you are ready that you're gonna lose everything at least once in this process. But I got the two copper. Now we need to get the six maple. The six maple is gonna be harder because that's gonna be more visitations. That means we need 18 maple. That's not gonna happen quickly, but in our next episode, unless we're doing the dungeon, we're gonna get that workbench because once we get that workbench, we can turn all of that 200 iron I have into nails and it just, makes this game so much easier. I can build shovels, I can build level two chests, I can upgrade all of my chests to level two, I can do so much more. It definitely is a huge hump to get over once you build that first workbench, makes the game a lot easier. And so that's what we're working towards. It is very hard to get, but we can get there and that's what we're gonna do. All right guys, see you next time.